Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are millions upon millions of different fonts out there. So depending on what project you're working on, you're sure to find one that suits it perfectly. But you're also going to come across those times that you see a font that you really love and want to use, but you're not sure the name of it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to successfully identify any font. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to chris.perlo.com. And let's say I want to identify the font that's used in the header. What I'm going to do to show you guys the first method, I'm going to open up the snipping tool or any screen capture software that you want. Take a screenshot of that header. I'll save it into my pictures. And head on over to new.myfonts.com slash what the font. So from here, you can enter the URL that the image is hosted at, or you could just upload the file from your computer. So I'll upload that screenshot. I'll click on continue. You'll see it identifies the different characters that are used in that image. So the more clear the image is, the better it is, obviously. I'll click on continue. And as you can see, it's giving me a few different examples of fonts that are that exact font or ones that are extremely close to it. So then you can go ahead, click on the title, you can go ahead and download it, and it will give you a place to get the fonts. Um, so that's very nice, very simple. But let's say you don't have the option to take a screenshot for some reason of that font, or it's not exactly clear enough for this tool to identify it. There's also identifont.com, which is spelled I-D-E-E-N-T-I-F-O-N-T.com. And you can simply go ahead, click on identify a font. I'll click on identify again. And what this tool lets you do is identify a font with a series of questions to narrow it down to what font that could possibly be. So as you can see, it asks you a series of different questions, how that font looks, and different shapes of the letters. Um, or if you don't see that character on there, you can click on I'm not sure. But first, let's go back to the first question which is uh, what type of tail does the uppercase Q have? So I'm going to go back to our web page. And now that doesn't have it right in the title here. So I would go ahead and click on not sure. But let's say I want to identify another font on this page. To find that in uh, most browsers, you can hit Control F and type in the letter Q. As you can see, it will highlight all the places on that page that that letter or phrase is used. So right here, I can see the letter Q and it pretty much looks like uh, this top one up here so I'll select that so then I would simply go back and forth to the website uh, search for these different characters and figure out what type of font this is uh, this is where a dual monitor layout can really help you out so I'm just gonna speed this up looking for this font and uh, we'll see if we can identify it I'm gonna try and identify uh, the font that's used inside the post here Okay, so I've gone through, answered all the questions, going back and forth to Chris's blog and trying to identify that font. And identifont.com has identified that font as Helvetica. Now, I'm not sure if that's the exact font that's used, but it does look pretty darn close. So there you go, guys. I hope you'll find this useful, especially if you're doing the task of identifying a font, which can be time-consuming, but in the end, it pays off. So this has been Matthew Sabia from LockerGnome.com, and I'll see you next time.